Welcome to Hidden Squids Gaming. Today we're going to talk about how to kill a collector. I'm going to narrate my fights and you can see how the compositions I bring in fight him and I'll mention the pros and weaknesses of each party that's currently fighting him. I'm hoping to get a stun on this because if you stun the collector I'll get another round to go and as I do stun him that's going to really allow me to get a second round of damage into this guy which is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to pierce him once again. And this time I'm going to lunge because I have the damage increase on her, which wasn't as high as I would have liked. I was hoping that combo would have been a little more devastating. However, I've now pushed my Crusader into the possibility of Holy Lance. I'm also just going to pull him forward so he can stay in the front. As you see that nice 34 Holy Lance, he is just human and eldritch, so he's not unholy. I'm not getting extra damage from that. However... A 34 critical is always nice, and just to let you know, if you thought he was unholy or something, he's really not. And boom, I got one blight on him, I got one lunge on him, and I got one good holy lance on him. Moved him forward, and game over. That's how easy the collector can be. Not all my collectors are going to be that easy, and we're going to talk about maybe why they weren't that easy, and what you can do to avoid it. I know I mentioned avoiding the collector. You really never know if you're going to run into one, but you can kind of predict which parties may or may not be bad for the collector. Once again, I'm trying to add that stun. I didn't get it, and I can't do blackjack on him, which is sad. Therefore, I'm just going to try to get through him with raw damage. I take him down about half HP already, which is really nice. I also have a good attack row diversity, which is going to help me get through A, the collected summon individuals, and B, get through the collector himself. I am just going to point and blast the guy in front because there's really nothing else for me to do. I wish I would have gotten a critical just to finish him because I don't want them going. And at, like I said, I'm also going to add bleed to the collector himself, do some of that extra damage. And since he's attacking me, I get the repose. Now he's down to 23. Once my Houndmaster gets to go, this fight's probably going to be over. I am going to stun one of the Highwaymen he summoned though because I don't want them taking a turn because they do a lot of damage. And with that damage up there, he's going to die the next turn he goes. And as you're going to see the headhunt, 15 damage is pretty brutal. And that's why I didn't want two of them going. It is going to start a new round. I am going to try to kill some of them in the front because I don't want them to going. I know that the collector is dead himself, but I don't want his minions going at all. An error there, though, would have been to shoot the collector because then this fight ends. However, he does bleed out. Once again, another pretty easy fight. Now this is the fight that isn't so easy, and you might be able to guess why. The Leper's really not good against the Collector, and clearly I wasn't expecting to fight a Collector. I did not want to fight a Collector, he just kind of show up, so the Leper's an issue, and also not having an ability on the Arbalist to shoot in the front row was another massive issue, which is something I could have skilled better just in general. I do get through a third to fourth of his HP, which is pretty good. However, he got to go first, which really ruined me, ruined a chance for me to get a lot more damage in on him, because if the Leper could have had one more crushing hit on him, I think it could have chipped him down to half health. But now here we are, and I need to start focusing the other damage dealers that are here. Now I'm gonna stand I am gonna stun the Vestal, or at least try to, because they have a lot of utility. And then I'm gonna hound's Harry just to add bleed to everyone and tick out the one highway with men in front. I'm just going to do it again just to add more bleed because I really need to just have everyone have a little bit of bleed in, on them and stuff. Because the more I can just keep killing the summons is going to be the way how this party does it well. This party doesn't have a particularly strong back row and there's 27 criticals coming out. I can't really ignore them too, too much. So I am going to kill off the highwayman he summoned, bring him to the second row. He will collect call, but we're just going to keep having to add the bleed damage, have the Arbalist shoot in the back and then the vessel take care of anyone who falls pretty low. I am going to stun once again because I just don't like the level of damage those collected highwaymen do when they're summoned. And I'm also going to shoot the vessel because the vessel has a lot of power-up abilities I don't want the vessel to keep doing. I'd prefer either to have one of the mana arms collected or just highwaymen. I don't like the vessel's buffing abilities. I understand I could have shot the collector, done some more damage, but I believe and such as the headache ability is really strong. As you can see, they're plus 50% damage. That's why I wanted the Vestal to die. However, it didn't. I'm not going to Hounds Harry because the Vestal is going to die. And I'm going to attack the one that was increased because I don't want that 50% damage coming out. 
Then we're just going to heal everyone as normal. Try to keep this all above. And now the Arbalist is going to focus the Collector. Nine damage. I wish it would have been a little more. I am just barely chipping him down. And the more rounds you go with the Collector, the more he keeps summoning. And the more the Highwaymen keep going with a decent amount of damage. So you really don't want to mess around too much. You just want to clean up the fight and be on your merry way. And that's why I intimidate the Collector because I go, you know what? The Vessel's going to die. And I believe I can finish off the Collector if I just do a little more damage. And then we're going to get the Hounds rush in. He's pretty much just dead. If this sniper shot doesn't miss, which it doesn't, he's done. As you saw, that fight was a little more difficult, and the main reason for that was my front damage dealer didn't get another turn in the beginning to hit him, and I also didn't have the best ability on my herbalist in the beginning to get another shot on him. If that all would have happened, I probably could have finished that fight about a turn or two earlier than I did have, but it's okay. Those things happen. The collector comes out of nowhere, and your party's not always ready. I hope these party compositions kind of show you what you can and can't do against Collector and what you can't and what you should do if you do get a composition that isn't great against one. Thank you for watching.